Welcome back to episode 31 of the Shy Sports Weekly Podcast. We got a big collab show coming your way with our guys out from the Steel City. The Entertainment Boys joining us for the pod today. What's up, guys? How are we doing? What's doing up, well. boys? Oh, glad to be here. Yeah, glad we're getting to do this. Hey, yeah, how uh, about them bears? <laughs> that fucking yeah, yeah. fart noise didn't even register into the system. It was so yeah. high pitched. Would, would this be the appropriate time to say bear down? Bear, yes, this actually. Yeah, if be, you guys want to just go ahead and get it all out now, that's that's cool. I I'm not even like like I'm happy about the win, but I'm like, damn, that fucking sucks too. At the same time. Well, they didn't cover, so good teams win. <laughs> Great teams oh, cover. The Bears definitely covered. Did you right. say the Bears I'm ta- didn't cover? Well, I'm, ta- I'm talking about the Steelers. Steelers did not cover. Oh, yeah, the Steelers, they rarely cover. Yeah, you don't want <laughs> to take them over. Which reminds me, uh, Kyle, I told you I'd do this while, when we record. I got to Venmo you $20. Uh, oh, yeah. Because the Steelers did not cover the fucking spread. And I, I told sh- you they weren't going to cover the spread. I thought the Bears were going to – I texted Max at like 740, 20 minutes after the game started. I was like, the Bears are going to lose by 30. <laughs> no it way. certainly it looked, felt It like didn't it look was promising good. after the first drive either. It was like three and out. Steelers went right down the field, three and out. Or maybe they got a quick first down, but then three more plays and punted. It was like classic Bears run, run, three yard out, and then punt. <laughs> well, there was – Fields did have a good uh, completion – I don't know, it was a third down that got called back for penalty, a, a bullshit penalty. Can you believe that? <laughs> the game right, was filled we, with them. Can we talk about those penalties? Like, <laughs> if you want to. Well, which one? <laughs> I mean, I, I actually, are we are we just are we just gonna nosedive right in? Oh yeah, head first. You have to. You don't want to do thirty ones, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, let's do thirty ones. Let me just cool. drop a little fun fact for the listeners. Though, Psalm uh, producer is is double dipping today. Oh. A little double dip. Little We're double dip produce action. He's actually he just, he's actually single dipping because he doesn't have to do two shows. So he's, <laughs> he's actually single doing. dipping because he doesn't have one Chicago article of clothing or picture in the background. He's just got hey, right. Pitts, Pittsburgh shit. Hey, hey does he usually wear a bright orange hat for you guys? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's only, his hat. Yeah, only when it's rabbit season. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Fudd looking ass. <laughs> All right, I didn't know this was going to just turn into the roast Tyler thing. Right? It's just roast Psalm. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, leave my boy alone. He got a new Pirates and he's been wearing it religiously. I love yeah, it. Yeah, hey, you can't roast the producer and slash co-host because uh, then it's just never going to get posted. So, <laughs> yeah, roast how, all you want. Roast how did that, how'd that hunting trip go, by the way? Because we, we spent all this time talking about your orange chat. We need to hear about the trip. Uh, first and foremost, Kai, are you ky.millen, dash millen on fucking the Ven? Yeah, so if anybody wants to Venmo me, KY Dash Millen, it's a picture of Chris Bryant licking his lips. So accepting donations. Venmo's <laughs> wide open after um, a rough weekend of betting. <laughs> hunting trip was good. We didn't get anything. Saw two birds. I shot at one way too far away. <laughs> Obviously, <it is. laughs> didn't even come fucking close to hitting it. Uh, but I did almost go deaf because it was loud as fuck. Uh, Should have wore those walked- headphones. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we walked 14 fucking miles in two days through the woods, literally through the middle of the fucking woods. Damn. It was a good. Where, time. Was, it, where was this at? Up in Michigan, Allegan nice. State game area. Yeah. Good times, right. good vibes, dude. Ty, you know, I'm, I'm going to ask it. How many beers? All of them. All of them. Uh, there's four of us, and Martin brought an entire cooler, Yeti cooler full of beer, plus a 36. So, whatever that is. For you? Divided by four. Yeah, that was just that was, for me. That was gone on the walk there. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you didn't pull a Dick Cheney probably makes it a successful trip. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was kind of yeah. hoping for it. I was texting Martin saying, maybe accidentally shoot Ty in the foot or something. <laughs> well, it got to a point we weren't seeing anything to shoot, and I was like, I might just fucking put a bullet in myself at this point. This is miserable. We've walked 14 miles. For He's what? a team guy. Team guy. <laughs> it's nuts. All there I is to that. it. Uh, let's get to uh, let's get to number thirty one. So I'll let the Yenzer boys start. Who you got? Pittsburgh style. Justin Lane. Ooh, yo, fuck him. Side note. Yeah. Justin Lane <laughs> sucks. Well, he's a Michigan State guy. And then, uh, oh, oh, hold on. Are you, are you just gonna keep going? I thought we were gonna go like one. Well, one yeah, one. speak up, dude. Right. Hold I'm, your I'm gonna go Donnie Shell. 
Bingo. It's a great number, 31 right there. I'm yeah. sorry, but you guys might have to elaborate on who these guys are. I you say Diamond idea. Michelle? Donnie Diamond Show. Michelle? Oh, oh, I was like, I know Diamond Michelle, but I didn't know she played sports. <laughs> is that a porn star? <laughs> well, I guess, I guess backtrack to Justin Lane, plays on the Steelers, went to Michigan State, little CB, you know, he's, he's all right. He's all right. He got caught with, uh, what was that, a gun and uh, some marijuana in the offseason. Like chilling with Martavis Bryant. So, wholesome guy. <laughs> yeah, no, good guy, though, good guy. Classic I don't know who the other guy is. I don't know, Donnie fucking Michelle. Uh, he was undrafted in – in the 74 draft, made five Pro Bowl appearances, four Super Bowls as safety. Yeah, Donnie Shell is sick. Like, you can't talk Rod Woodson, Mel Blunt without talking to Donnie Shell. Yeah, he's part, part of that skill curtain. If you ain't talking Blunt, I don't want to talk. He's like one of the guys you unlock in NFL Street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. What a hell of a comparison. Drop. What a name. I got drop. you. I'm with you. All right. All right, all right Kyle, 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 you want to drop a little uh, Chicago knowledge? All right, I'm going to go baseball, though. I'm going to go. Talk, speaking of double dipping, I'm going the two number 31s retired by the Cubs, Greg Maddox and Fergie Jenkins. It's kind of unfair that you took both of them, but powerful. Yeah, yeah it's kind of bogus, first, honestly. First names. Those are two pretty solid athletes. Ever heard of them? Former athletes. They still got Fergie, it. Fergie still they got still it. Got it. <laughs> so you think, you think Greg Maddox actually pissed on rookies in the shower? Yeah, he had to. 100%. It's not, something, it's not something that just gets made up. No. <laughs> no, that's real. <laughs> that's too, that's, it's too far-fetched to make up. I like that. He definitely pissed on rookies. All right, Max, who you got for 31s? All right, I don't know how to follow that up other than uh, Tomas Sadoransky, current Chicago Bull. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you could have went like you. the Nate dog, Nathan Vasher, Rashawn Salam. Or Salon, I don't know how you say his name. So he was coming eventually, but Tyler Salm. You could have said that. He wore number 31 in our uh I just wanted an excuse to talk about the Bulls because that's the biggest bright spot in this city right now. I mean they're playing right now. So you yeah. Yens boys, you obviously don't the Pittsburgh doesn't have a uh a basketball team, so you, you guys just by association Bulls fans. I'd say yeah. so. I really don't I've, have no allegiance. I've never really basketball. been I've never really been a fan of any basketball team up until maybe like a few years ago. It's like because of that reason, I don't have a Pittsburgh basketball team and only makes sense to root for the Bulls. Has Pittsburgh Plus, never had a basketball team? Like, why don't they have a basketball team? I feel like they'd be, a, they'd be a great city for it. Yeah, I don't know. They, I mean, they never had an NBA team, but they had two ABA teams, the Condors and the Pipers. But that was Damn, way Pipers. back in the day. So they were they were in semi pro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they should have been. <laughs> they had to have been. Um, Pittsburgh basketball. The only person I could think of that comes to mind is Dejuan Blair or Dejuan Blair. Yeah. Oh, getting, yeah. Getting cooked by uh, Kemba and UConn in the Big East <laughs> Duh, champion. Or, yeah, I think it was Big well, East to be fair, Kemba was working everybody. Yeah, it was disgusting. Dejuan yeah. Blair. Holy hell. I never thought we would mention that guy's name yeah. ever. Here we are. Hey, by the way, Mark Bellhorn. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know who Mark Bellhorn is? Oh, yeah. He, he gets he's na- name dropped at least once every episode. and He's the, most random, he's the most random cub ever. You just have to name drop yeah, him. Someone has to say uh, it. <laughs> yeah, he's a weird guy. But let's, <laughs> let's dive into our to Monday Night Football here. Bears, Steelers. Uh, congrats, Steelers won 29-27 on a, uh, a field goal in the last minute. By the way, Chris Boswell, how, how was that guy playing this week? He got a, I thought he literally got murdered against the Browns. Yeah, oh, he, he got he did. fucking oh, rocked. He died. You thought I'm Justin surprised Fields he knew how to get to work the week? next day. <laughs> I mean. I'm kidding. Yeah, they, the murdered. Steelers even signed what, Josh Lambeau to their practice squad just in case. Shout out Chicago. And Boswell's like, yeah, no need. I'm back. So I have to I have to ask, we'll, and we'll jump around the game here, but at the end of the game, what were your thoughts for Matt Nagy sending out Cairo Santos for a 65-yarder? At, in, uh, well, uh, that's, that that almost didn't head. happen. If, yo, if, if that play, that last play where TJ swats it down goes a little bit longer, or if he throws it out and somebody catches it, they, the game's over. 
right? Like, true. Yeah, that's like, definitely you know, true. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, like, so you don't, you don't hear it. Like, it's, it was re- realistically the only thing unless you sling it out wide real, fly, real fast or something. To be honest, I, I'm actually, well, there's probably better odds of you completing a Hail Mary than there is hitting a 65-plus yard field goal. Yeah, It'd be well, interesting to know. I mean, what is the longest, field? Yeah, what's the longest field goal that's ever been made there? Isn't it like Boswell 50, did it six? Boswell did it. Was it this year? Yeah, I think this year. Yeah, fifty. Well, what do you hit? Fucking like this on Monday night, fifty-four. Okay. He hit yeah, 54, 52, 52 and a fifty-four, I think, yeah, and the forty, 40 to win 40. it. <laughs> have an evening. And, yeah, and this there's no recovery. There's no research to back this up, but Santos has to be like the smallest kicker in the league. He is. That actually is correct. Okay. I believe that. Well, so when also, they... camera angle, very deceiving. Thought yeah. I hit the crossbar. So did I. <laughs> yeah. yeah and the then, longest and then... is 59. Is it Boswell? Yeah. It's Justin yeah. Tucker. Yeah, that actually is – I'm surprised it's not Justin Tucker. Yeah. He's going to break it. He's – like In that division, too? With Justin Tucker, I would – I mean, I wouldn't have felt comfortable, but I definitely would have felt something. <laughs> <laughs> Hard, mostly. So yeah. this game was honestly kind of a snooze fest in the first half. Well, for Bears fans, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were going to run away with it. Well, yeah, that's what sucks about the Steelers is they're – we've always said that they're a one-half team. Yeah. You know, and they – I mean, when they came out firing, it was 14-3. I was like, let's go. I, I was like – I honestly thought to myself, I was like, I don't think the Bears are going to score a touchdown. Like, they might not score in this game. Well, that's what we thought, too. That's how they look at times. It's literally night and day on, on every other drive. Yeah. yeah. What was it? So then did they put up 21 in the fourth quarter. Is that what the Bears did? Yep. Yep. Yeah. In the Which is score, not uncommon for the Steelers to do. Steelers scored on their first drive. I think they were saying – First two like, drives. Yeah, yeah they're saying the they're like the second lowest scoring team in the – what is it, in the first quarter? Yeah, they yeah. had f- weeks like one through seven or something. They had 14 points in the first quarter. It's yeah. got to be frustrating for you guys. We're the opposite end of the spectrum on this, but anytime Ben Roethlisberger leaves the pocket, I think he just automatically falls down. Yeah. Well, like that, his uh, what would you even call that? His read option at the <laughs> in the fourth quarter in the final minute, is, is, dude. Is the, he, he, he faked the camera out so bad, but he, the camera had time to like get faked out, go back before Ben even took like a step. He is cinder blocks in his shoes. He oh, is the slowest the person back, alive. Dog. Yeah, I mean, I, I also feel like Big Ben at 39 should not be fast at all. Like, no, that's so true. Old. I think he's he's faster walking than he is running. Oh, 100%. Because it takes I, him so much to get going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh like, he's gonna, yeah, seriously. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to start falling forward to run. <laughs> you don't want to meet him at top speed, though. That's, oh. a, that's, a, that's a downhill train. <laughs> On this court. Honest question: What do you think Big Ben's forty-yard time is? Oh, that, he's definitely faster than Ty. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know Ty, do they do they know about your forty time? No, I I claimed I could probably run a four seven forty, and then no, I no, you didn't it. probably I, claim it. You no, absolutely you, you, said you, that. You could <laughs> no, I claimed it. Uh-oh. I claimed it, and, uh, and then, what was the time? I never ran it, but at four this seven. point, at this point, there's no fucking way. <laughs> My body is just deteriorating one day at a time. Are you saying like in your prime you could run a four seven? No, no you said no, not today. last year. <laughs> That's not yeah, you. St- you weren't out of your prime last year. <laughs> well, Big Ben, been Big out of Ben's combine for a while. was four point seven five. Was it? And that's when he was like what 23? 23. Yeah, I think he easily runs like a five two. <laughs> uh, no, that's generous. I would I honestly say give like, him like an eight. Yeah, I know. I'm also I'm like hitting. Three. I'm also in start kind of late and, and then a little early. <laughs> Do you think he can run a faster forty than Brady? No, Brady, I mean, no. no Brady's it's actually right think, now. Yeah, I don't know. No, no I, I, I don't I think, think so. I, don't I think, think Brady's so. like kind of sneaky quick. He's not fast, but he'll get to where he needs to kind of quick. He he ran for like a ten yard first down at one yeah. point this year. I'm pretty sure. Brady's because I have Big Ben's forty and Brady's. It said it was five point two eight. Wait, when was this though? That was at the, at combine? the combine. I'm assuming it's Brady. Honestly, injuries. looked like he was in worse shape 
at age 22 than yeah. he does at age 44, though. So yeah, that's so, facts. Yeah, he, he's all. Yeah, Brady's not human. He's Benjamin he's Buttoning. <laughs> but, so, go ahead, Max. Go, go, no, go ahead. I was just going to ask, what do you guys think of the Steelers overall? Like, do, are you guys confident in them as a playoff team, or because I, I mean, I feel like the Steelers are so up and down. Like, they beat the the Browns on the road, fifteen ten. And I know, obviously, they're they beat not the Bills on the road. Yeah, they Bills, beat the yeah, Bills on the road. Season, week one. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then they they're at home and they barely beat the Bears in a game that very easily they could have lost. And like, it just they make. And when it was it Geno? They have Geno at home and they take Geno takes them to overtime. Like, it, to be fair though, the Jags also just beat the Bills. Yeah, nine to six. <laughs> yeah. That game is probably as rigged as the fucking Bear Steelers game. Yeah. Well, we, well, I think we've always said with the Steelers, they they can play up to any team, but they also play down to every team, right? Like we we always say they've. I think the last team they ever blew out was uh, that Thursday night football game against the Panthers, the color rush, when uh, the Panthers came in undefeated, and fucking literally, uh, what's his name? Uh, Newton fucking marched down the field on the first drive with McCaffrey, just ran all over us, and Ben threw one pass to Juju to hit him on the fucking uh, on the touchdown, and then Vince Williams, like, next play, fucking, like, picks one off, runs it to the house. That was the last time I think they blew somebody out. And I I vividly remember that because, like you said, right, they're up 20, you know, 23 or whatever, and, like, they fucking blow that lead, and mm-hmm. they make it a close game. Happens yeah, every last year they had like an incredible start to the season, right? Was it? Was it but but yeah. even with that, nobody nobody said Steelers. They were like, you know what? They're lucky to be, you know, nine and nine nine and oh, 10 Yeah, right. Or like the worst fucking eight yeah. nil team I've ever seen in my fucking life. Yeah, no, nobody could be like, you know what? <laughs> it's kind of true though. <laughs> grinding it out and getting a win somehow. I think I think they got banged up on defense. Is what happened to that team, right? Yeah, uh, that's when uh, Bud Dupree got hurt. Yeah. Oh, what what a name, by the way, Bud Dupree. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. such a great football name. Yeah, yeah got, it's way better than his real name. Buddy Johnson. What's wait? What's his real name? Alvin. No. <laughs> and the chipmunks, dude. That yeah. Alvin fucking Dupree. nerdy it's little like, hamster. No, we're gonna call him Bud. <laughs> yeah, that's what. We're, he's not even with the Steelers anymore, is he? Nope, the Titans. Um, yeah, Alvin Kamara should that's change his here. name to Bud. Bud Kamara. Bud and Bud Dupree. That's a name that was built to be a, a Steelers linebacker. He was yeah. just born and bred for that. Are you guys confident that, like, so what do you guys, you're four and four now? Five and three, right? Five and three. Five and three. Oh, yeah. Duh, you guys won. All right. Five and three, sitting in a playoff spot. Are, like, how are we feeling? You just can't accept that they won, can you? No. No, we'll get that. <laughs> Fuck Tony Carrente. Well, we know for sure they're going 500 at least. I mean, M- Mike Tomlin has yet to go below 500. I'm pretty how many, sure. how many games left do they have against division opponents? Because their division is arguably the best in the NFL. Let's Let's see here. Here. I don't know for sure, but the, I don't know. The Browns are on a slide. Week 12, they're at Cincy. Week 13, they're home versus Baltimore. And then week 17, they are home against Cleveland. And week 18, they're at Baltimore. Well, you guys got a fucking gauntlet of a schedule. Here we go. Yeah. Why? Lions, the Chargers, season, Bengals, I think they Ravens. said that they have one of the hardest schedules. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I'm worried about the Lions playing down. The Lions are the mediocrity of the NFL. Yeah. Stop. You're not worried about the Lions. Nobody's worried about the Lions. No. Not they just lost 44 to 6. Playing down to the opponent and <laughs> fucking letting. By the way, I took Lions money line in the game they lost to the Eagles 44 to 6. So. I think I did. I had him in a, a parlay. <laughs> I took him with the points. Right. I mean, and no way, no way they go without winning a single game. No way. Yeah. Who do they I got mean, this week? They're yeah, playing they're not the, before. They're they playing the Steelers. Steelers yeah, week. Steelers. Yeah. yeah. Do the Lions? I, don't they have a win? No, they're oh, all they're they're winless. They lost Yikes. in that overtime game where they should have won. Yeah, you guys they're are. Going eight. That's because Michigan Ooh. teams fucking suck. Not to change the subject, but I do just want to say that Najee Harris is a dog. I just wish he he had some more room to run because I feel like his yards per carry is not. Oh, it's trash. It's not indicative of how good of a player he actually is. We talked about this during the uh, right around the NFL draft, but I mean, not that it's nothing against Najee Harris, but they didn't address the offensive line like at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, our line's fucking trash. Oh, I agree 100%. Was it like week one? They almost, 
at one point they had like four rookies in the starting line. Right now yeah. they two. They got two currently. Yeah, they got two right now. I mean, once uh once Chase Claypool came out of the game, there was like there was no deep threat. There was no way Ben was holding on the ball longer than like two seconds, and it kind of just changed the whole complexion of the game. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Deontay Johnson was like surprisingly very quiet this game. Mm-hmm. Very quiet. Yeah, he was. I mean, do you do you see the Steelers as a going deep in the playoff Super Bowl team or like what what would be a successful season to you guys? I mean, realistically. Realistically, successful season would be uh one playoff win. I mean, I don't I don't know, like at, at least keep Tomlin and Ben's uh winning seasons alive. Mm-hmm. You know, just finish above 500 uh every season i think that i know that i do respect the other afc north teams now more than ever but as long as ben and Tomlin are there the steelers are going to win the afc north like they they always have such an upside like they there are games you see them go holy fuck like they can ball out they have so much potential but they're uh, yeah they're just very inconsistent yeah yeah that's i i would say personally as long as they win one playoff game I'd be happy because I feel like we keep getting knocked out in that wild card game or we keep just missing it, right? Like last year playing the fucking Browns week 16, then the wild card game, right? Like that sucks. And I even go back to like, you know, losing to the fucking Jaguars, you know, the, the when uh, yeah, what was their quarterback like that? That fucking hurt too. Almost the last time the Steelers won a playoff game. That's a fucking good question. <laughs> No um, question. September 08. San Antonio Holmes. <laughs> See, I was about to say, is it San Antonio Holmes? Jesus. No, it's got to be. I mean, they made this Super Bowl uh, after I, that. I want to say either 2015 or 2013. I mean. That's so a long you, time ago. What do you guys feel, or how do you guys feel about Mike Tomlin? Love him. Love him. Love him. Right. I'm, I'm ride or die Big Ben and Mike Tomlin. Like, to me, Ben is definitely past his prime, but I love Ben and everything he's done that – when he wants to hang it up, I'll be okay with that. I, I feel like we almost owe it to him. Yeah, but he also owes it to us to hang it up after this year probably because he agree. didn't run. <laughs> I agree. I agree. But then nice. also – but the, the thing is, like, none of our backups are are ready to be QB1, right? Like, I have zero confidence in any of them. Mm-hmm. Right? Say Roger, so, if Rogers? No, if Rogers comes, hell yeah, I'll take that all day. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still on that Marcus Mariota train for no reason at all. Because he's a little mobile. <laughs> so, Those are two viable options for next year, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we got Real Dwayne Haskins. Haskins. There's actual yeah. talk about Rodgers. I, th- I feel like at least at least people are murmuring. Yeah, well, I think it's because he he talks highly about Pittsburgh whenever he's asked about them. Mm-hmm. It's a smart man. He's keeping his options open. I don't know. Well, it's like, yeah, he's great, but I fucking don't like that man at all. I don't want to see him in <laughs> black and gold. Yeah. <laughs> He's I feel like I feel like you would learn to like him though. Take him, yeah. Please take him. Please take him. Hey, all I could say about Tomlin though is he's a hell of a better coach than fucking what you guys are working with over there. Yeah, I know. When we, That's the thing. A couple people, weeks. Ago, go ahead, Kyle. Sorry. No, and say when a couple weeks ago people were saying that like I don't know if it was Tomlin was rumored for the USC job or and yeah, you know, maybe it was just us spitballing that Tomlin like could potentially not be in Pittsburgh next year. I was like, if that, if he somehow left Pittsburgh, the bears should do whatever they can to like, just kidnap him and put him on the sideline for the bears. Like he's, I would love him on the sideline. Yeah. And that's, you know, every, you, you just said like, when was the last time they won the playoffs, right. Or won a playoff game. When was the last time they went to a super bowl? It's like great that he's got a, a winning record for 15 years, but that gets you nowhere if you're not fucking winning playoff games or Super Bowls. Yeah, that's almost more However, frustrating. There's no, there's no better option. Like the same thing with Ben right now. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, Ben is not what he used to be, but Mason Rudolph, yeah, not going to happen. Dwayne Haskins, probably not going to happen. So it's like they are the two best fits and options right now. And yeah, the Steelers have had three fucking coaches since 1940. Like, that's it's not going to change. The Bears so, have had three coaches since 2013. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was just I mean, looking at seriously. the standings. I came up with an interesting stat here just from looking at the standings. The Steelers have 
a negative point differential in our five and three. There's two other teams in the NFL that have a winning record with a negative point differential. Can you guys guess who they are? How many teams? Two more. Two other ones. Um, I'm gonna say the Broncos. I want to nope. say the Chiefs. Chiefs, yep. Chiefs are Ooh. one of them. And Saints. No, not it's not the Saints. It can't be the, the other team is in the same division as the as the uh, Chiefs. Titans. The Bengals. No. Titans. The Steelers. So the Bengals and the Titans are not in the same division as the Chiefs. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're saying the same division as the Chiefs? Yeah. Oh, you're saying the AFC North. Oh, no, no, no. Raiders. Nope. Oh. Chargers? Yeah, it's the Chargers. What? So the Chargers, Chiefs, and Steelers all have a negative point differential, but our Steelers and Chargers are five and three, and the Chiefs are five and four. What's their def- uh, What's the differential? It's small. Like, they're all less than 10 points, but it's still. It's still, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Also, what do you guys say? What what's your guys' mindset with Chicago right now? Fire Matt Nagy into the sun. <laughs> That's you pretty know, much it. I will week. say Justin Fields looks like the more you know games he plays, the more he's fucking figuring it out. He was and he was doing a little running against the Steelers. Yeah, and that's not only that, but his passing, bro. Every ball had a fucking zip. zip. On it. Like he's yeah. he looks so calm and composed. And I even told my other buddy, it's like if he would have gotten some of those calls or no calls from the refs, like that's going to help his confidence, which is already high. Yeah. That'll help his confidence even more. And it's like, yeah, this he, he's going to have a great career. You can just tell he doesn't shy away from the big game. And when they needed him to move the ball down the field, when it was tight at the end, he, it, he, he almost got better. It seemed like. I know mm-hmm. it's almost if at the end, if you almost gave him 10 more seconds, if he had the ball with 36 seconds instead of 26 seconds, it's like, he might probably gets another, I mean, easy to say, he probably gets another 10, 15 yards, and it's like a really, like, it gets yeah. hairy there. But yeah, to yeah. Kyle's point, like, you wonder how good, how much better, how good he could be with, like, a legitimate coaching staff. Like, yeah. because mm-hmm. they're, it just seems like the Bears are literally light years behind some of these other teams in the NFL when it comes to, like, scheme and play calling. It's just, like, absolutely absurd, some of the shit that we watch on a weekly basis. Fields would be sick in that Matt Canada offense. The Steelers run with yeah. all the pre-snap motion, the end so, rounds. You're saying we should trade for Justin Fields? Tomlin for Fields, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so no, let's say, let's talk about these uh this onslaught of penalties that were called against the Bears. Yeah, the non no call on the roughing the passer, the that phantom chop block for a 15 yard or 10 yard penalty. The Cassius March, Marsh. Uh, I mean, that's by far the worst one. Pond. I mean, that what the brutal. fuck? I, I also was watching the game, just, you know, paying attention from my own perspective. And it seemed like, I swear, while the Steelers had the ball, it almost felt like their O line was tackling the Bears D line and there was never a holding flag. I hate, I hate to die on this hill because it's like the, the worst thing to say, but it was like, I'll die on this hill. It, it was obvious. <laughs> So, and as as an opposing fan, it was 100% obvious. Yeah. Like, yes, I'm a Steelers fan, but I am also like try to be legitimate at all times. Like, that it it was not a fair game. It's yeah, that simple. Sucks. No, and I mean, I can like the 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 non chop block or, I mean, even like no roughing the passer there. Like. In, I can get over those. Yeah, it's, it's one thing to miss calls, but when the ref is hip checking one of our players, like the taunting one, flag. that makes zero sense. Like Cassius Marsh, he was he was just signed off the Steelers practice squad, correct? From yeah. well, the Bears. Well, the Steelers cut him in the preseason. Okay, yeah. yeah. So he was he retired. I thought. No, he got cut. Well, after he got cut, I thought he said. I'm well, yeah, he probably did retire. That's like the Bears' sweet spot for uh, for outside linebackers. <laughs> But, I mean, he, all right, so he sacks like that <laughs> huge play in the game, right? Dude. Bears are down three, getting the ball back with, what was it, like three and change left? Yeah. I mean, it was pretty clear. I, I mean, 90% sure he didn't say anything. He was just yeah, kind of – I was going to say, watch the replay, line. too. He was just looking at him. Yeah. Even if he did say something, like, let's go. Like I, I agree. Like, I, I I don't think there should have been a flag call, but I did I – I couldn't stop watching it on Get Up because they literally ran it for, like, 12 hours. 
<laughs> like no joke i i walked away and every time i came back i felt like they were talking about the same exact <laughs> thing every time but they were saying that they one of the guys was saying he thinks it's because there was three celebrations in it right where it's like he gets down on him he celebrates does the flying kick then he goes over to like his other lineman right high fives him and then he walks over six steps and is like then like and then he got hit checked but i was gonna he, but even then, I'm like, I don't think it was that outrageous. Like, it was no, a big play. It, like, no. like, yeah. You just sack yeah. your former team in a yeah. clutch like, fucking I, moment. Yeah, like, I guess yeah. there was three Go nuts, bro. Reason, but I don't think it was that terrible. Sick fucking roundhouse kick, too. Yeah. So sick. It was. That was actually pretty sweet. Dude's got oily yeah, hips. It was fucking dope. <laughs> Dude's got oily hips. But the fact that when that ref threw the flag and I think it was like red line radio or something that posted, like he literally held his hand up. Like he just <laughs> fucking like shot was a game winning three. Yeah. Well, and in the cookie jar, you know, yeah. as a Steelers fan, we're used to being like, dude, the Steelers aren't getting any fucking calls. And that's like an unbiased opinion usually. Uh, but this time around, I mean, we got all the fucking calls. Well, most of the calls it seemed like, and yeah, I can certainly agree that the bears got fucking bent over the barrel uh, by the refs, by the and, refs. And you, you got to imagine if they didn't, the Steelers lose that fucking game. Yeah, and and it probably doesn't help with all the, well, with all the Quinn penalties leading up and like the. Final oh my God! How many yeah. times can you line up offsides? Him, him in ninety nine. Go onside. <laughs> him in, was it like four four penalties within like six plays or something? Or Isn't something that guy like a veteran too? Like been in yeah, the league for years. Nine time Pro Bowler is what they said. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Honestly. Yeah, which I was like, <laughs> you'd think he would know the rules. It is, it is crazy, like, especially in those late game, uh, late down situations, like, have, have like, any brains. Line Towards the end of the game, he wasn't even in a three-point stance. He was literally just standing up. Standing yeah. up. <laughs> or, or, like, or my, favorite, my favorite uh, penalty was the one where the 11th man ran off the field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that low key kind of gave the Bears that extra chance at the end of the game yeah. and spiked it to, to Smart, try to get Smarter play, play than you think. Yeah, yeah. We we're play- he we were playing chess while Ben was playing like goldfish. Yeah, fucking marbles <laughs> by himself. <laughs> yeah. And then those announcers, they were like, "Yeah, the Ben can just like take a knee and run it down without thinking the Bears had a timeout." It's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? The Bears have a timeout. Like, yeah. By the way, need- those need to get the first. Sucked. Not once did they mention, by the way, that Cassius Marsh was a former Steeler and like. That could oh. have something to do with the taunting and why he might have went over there. Not once, he, dude. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, "You didn't see that he was with the Steelers all last year, or you can even brought up that maybe he got cut and maybe can't afford Tom Segura's old house anymore." <laughs> <laughs> they were like openly, openly shitting on the refs too. And I was like, "All right, someone in the booth has has Bears money line." I yeah. mean, that that I'm not kidding. That's the part that pisses me off the most is that I had the Bears money line, and it's like. <laughs> I mean, but it's not just, I mean, I, I mean, I only had a couple bucks on the money line, but think of like just gambling in general, how much these refs are affecting like change of money, changing hands. You know, it's just, it's mind boggling to have these type of mistakes, especially yeah. a taunting call that changes the whole complexion of the game for something that's, I mean, these guys are flying around in the, the highest contact sport and like the meanest sport known to man. I mean, it's, I, I can almost live with the taunting call, but, like, once you see the guy hip check him, like, he's bagging that's where it's like, what, what the hell is going on? Well, yeah. and I've, I've said it uh, over the past few years. Um, I don't think the refing and officiating is bad. They're doing exactly what they're fucking supposed to be doing, controlling the game. There's yeah. so, when 90% of the fucking public money is on the bills to beat the Jags. Yeah. We're going to have the Jags win a fucking really shitty game because that's a lot of money. We're not going to let that happen. Oh, so you're, you're going deep into the conspiracy here. It does. It does. <laughs> not too deep, but I think. That, no, 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 no. This is good. I like I, this. I do. Go think balls that, deep. Uh, out of all sports, the NFL has the most say about what happens in the games like i think it can like easily I, it could easily slide under the rug the most in the nfl just because any you can almost throw a flag on any play right yeah. and i mean if you watch the games like in depth it's like the ball carrier you know he's down right you, you can see where the ball should be but the ref can literally just move it back an inch and 
four forward and say first down or nope, sorry, fourth down. Like it happens a lot. That, I mean, that part is the, the spotting the football is so subjective. It's like, okay, this guy, the ball carrier, and it's usually a smaller guy's in the middle of a pile of like, say for a running back pile of like four or five, 300 pound dudes. How are you that really going like to tell where the fuck the is. ball is? <laughs> oh, it's There's like, talk man. about this ref getting suspended and fined. I don't. I haven't seen any updates on it since, but it'll, interesting. I, it'll be interesting to see should, if that because actually if, I think Cassius Marsh, Marsh said it. It's like, if I were to do that to the ref, I would be suspended. I would be fined. Yeah. Like, yeah, we I, have to hold these people accountable. I saw you a thing. They might, do not, that. they might not publicly do something or, like, you know, they, like, shun him, but – there was like a thing saying that like this definitely is going to be looked at and now like he might lose out on like playoff games like uh be, like other stuff that's behind the scenes that we won't see but they, they definitely think it's going to go like they're going to do something about it hashtag robot refs so let's get real deep into a conspiracy if this is all um simulation <laughs> no if this is all just to uh help get matt Nagy fired then I'm all for it. Yeah, let's keep it going. <laughs> I was actually thinking this from a Bears perspective. This was almost kind of like a like a win-win. Justin Fields looked phenomenal, right, in the second half. Like you could, you honestly could tell as the game progressed, every play he seemed more comfortable, more confident. <laughs> Obviously, at the end, he was making plays left and right. Yeah. He looks good, but the Bears lose. Yeah. And it's just one step closer to Nagy getting canned. Because I think the McCaskies are so stupid that they only look at the record. Like, if Nagy were somehow to go, like, 9-8 and eight or 8-9, and nine, they'd be like, oh, he's close. They probably saw that Wildcat, and they're like, holy shit, what was that? <laughs> yeah. oh, fucking... What the heck was that? Yeah, like, what was that? He was hey, up in that fucking Justin? booth looking Holy like shit, it's a run. <laughs> hey, they gained eight yards on that play. Dude, didn't they score a touchdown on one <laughs> They did. They scored a touchdown on it. So I was actually <laughs> looking that up. They – it was four. They ran it four times for thirty-three yards. Well, dude, when I saw it, I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" The Wildcat. I was like, "That's how they fucking score." <laughs> There's, yeah, you gotta switch it up. We're going. Hey, we're we're turning back the clocks. That that's Bears football for you. The wishbone. Uh, so give me your Steelers, your yins. Give me your final uh, Steelers prediction for the year, and then we'll talk a little hockey. Final prediction for the year. Like where, are we going? Uh, Wild AFC, card game. They've seen North around. champions, and uh, I don't know where the Super Bowl's at this year, but we'll see you there. LA. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't even realize. So the Steelers have won four games in a row. Yep. Yeah, Steelers are hot. Big Ben hasn't thrown an interception in four games here. Well, and that's we talked, you know, like mentioned about last year, start off 11 0, and then just the downfall happens there, um, where we kind of like how it's shaping up this year, where you start slow. Um, you know, they had, a, I mean, dub's a dub, but that dub against the Browns, Ben was fired the fuck up. Yep. Leads into a Monday night primetime game. Huge win. I mean, a dub's a dub is a huge win for them. And I think they're making the right adjustments and they're on, they're better, better now. So they're not burned out. You know, they started slow. They're healthy moving forward. Whereas last year they burned out and it's tough to come back from that. And you got to get hot at the right time. Yeah. On paper, they should be getting progressively better as the year goes on. I mean, Zach Banner has been out for the whole season already. Like, if he comes back and performs the way we hope that he's going to, like, and that's going to run. We haven't had off. Steph to it all year either. Yeah, Steph to it on defense and fucking um, – who else on defense is out for the for a while? I forget. A lot, Alulu. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. he's out for the rest of the year. He's out for the year. Then, uh, okay. You know, Taco Charlton just got promoted, my boy. There's Dude, a, that, Cam Hayward. That's a name. That Dude, Cam Hayward interception. Dude, Cammy. That was geez. that was honestly just annoying. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, probably nothing more annoying for you guys though than uh, Ray Ray fumbling that punt return. Bro, oh my! He just, God. He just laid an egg right there. And you I, should know, Tappy is the biggest Ray Ray fan there is. I I put I say every week he's gonna run one fucking back, and I feel it. I feel it like deep down in my stomach every time. He's been saying that for thirty six weeks. Yeah, <laughs> I know, so like I every time he gets, I go, oh my god! I was like, he's about to run it back. <laughs> has he ran one back yet? No, he has not found the end zone in his career. No, for anything like even receiving. No, he had touchdown? a regular season touchdown this year. Yeah. 
Did he? Yeah, he has one. Ray Ray. That's such a sweet name, though. That's like yeah. the perfect name for a guy who's like a slot receiver. Ray, we, we also have uh, Isaiah Louder Louder Milk. Louder Milk. Uh, Louder Milk. Yeah, yeah, Louder Milk. We have Buddy Johnson. You have Ulysses Buddy Johnson Gilbert. replacing Bud Dupree. U- Ulysses Gilbert. Yeah, I'm a big names guy. Oh, we the got Steelers got names. Uh, Who is the uh, what's the tight end? Fryermuth. Yeah, 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 Pat, Pat, Pat Fryermuth. Pat, Project Pat, baby. Yeah. I mean, that is like he looks like the most Steelers tight end ever, just like a 6'4", 250 white oh, guy. Oh, don't forget, <laughs> hey, we got Zach Gentry. They got six seven, like two seventy. I mean, he's uh, just Ray born and never broke. scored a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Fryermuth is actually legit. All this yeah. talk about Kyle Pitts this year, but Fryermuth is pretty damn good too. Where did Friday need to go to college? Penn State. State. Sandusky. Sandusky, that ass. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not, his he... name sounds like he didn't go to college. It sounds like he just learned a trade. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like he grew up on a farm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think the Steelers are going to win the Super Bowl. That is my honest opinion. I, <laughs> I, I swear to God, dude, I feel like they're going to fucking win it every year. But it's 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 stuff like this, like the last two three weeks, where they give me so much hope, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, it's gonna happen. Might not. Happy is the most players. optimistic Pittsburgh Steelers fan in the oh entire my God, world. Yeah. And then, and then yo, it sounds like it. Up, well, dude, the last two fucking minutes of the game, my wife's leaving, and she wakes up to me just going like this. She's like, "What's wrong?" I was like, "I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna win, if they're gonna lose. I think I'm gonna throw up." I was like, "I want to faint." <laughs> I was like, I'm like stressed. I'm like sad. I'm happy. Well, I'm a realist, so they're going to win at least one playoff game, and that's that's all I got for you. So oh, what are the – Baker and the Browns. What do the Bears finish is the real question. Do they I mean, finish? 12. Hopefully right where they're at, three wins. So would that's you rather have Maggie them up. tank to get better picks or – Well, we don't have a first-round pick this year. I know, but – or get better – oh, shit. Why, what, you well, say? I mean, we would get – I mean, yeah, we'll get better higher draft picks in the, you know, the later rounds, but – we traded our first rounder this year for field. So, I mean, I guess it's not completely a wash. No. Uh, I, as long as Justin Fields looks good every week, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what are your thoughts on uh, Robinson? You guys want to keep him instead of franchise, franchise tagging him or move on? I, mean, I just I want them to throw him the ball more. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't get any targets anymore. It's, it's yeah. crazy. I feel like he has no rapport with fields. Um, if, if the bears do keep him, it's, like, I don't want to break the bank for him either because he's – I mean, he – I think they're just going to tag him again. Tag your it? Yep. You think? Slap the tag on him probably. Can you do that two times? I mean, I guess the – Yeah, I think you would do it up to three times. The like, Redskins did it with expensive. Kirk Cousins. Yeah, he gets more expensive every Didn't time. Didn't the Steelers try doing that with Le'Veon and A.B.? Oh, yeah. <laughs> should ask, should Honestly, ask you guys about that. When they drafted Fields, I was like, oh, man, this is – Robinson's going to be perfect for Fields. But yeah. it just it just hasn't worked out that way. No, I've heard that everyone guy. right. Mooney. Everyone talks about how Mooney like would stay late after practice and run routes with 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 Fields throwing him the ball. So I don't know if that's what, <laughs> hey Rob what probably didn't like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean I probably, that's probably huge because you always hear about Edelman being invited out to California with Brady when he was like young and he's like, yo, that's how we end up building our chemistry, right? Like the all. I mean I'm a huge I'm I've always been a, a big A Rob guy, but. I, like I don't know. Too. It's it's confusing. I mean, he, he he still had a pretty decent game. Like, like, you know, in that Steelers game, obviously he only had, what, he had six targets and I think he had four catches for like 70 yards. Yeah. Yep. But he's just not getting used the way he should. Like, the Bears threw, I, I want to say they had three straight passing plays at like the 10-yard line, and they yeah. threw the ball to Jimmy fucking Graham every time. <laughs> so why, why, why are you not using Allen Robinson there on any of those routes? Yeah. Is it Komet? Some nice catches. Yeah, like he's him. solid too. I like yeah. Komet. I definitely thought Jesse James is going to find the end zone. Oh, me too. I love Jesse. <laughs> Revenge game. Yep. I, I don't know. I feel. I feel like he'd probably be like, no, no, no. I like you guys. He doesn't though. That's why he wanted out. He doesn't. What a bitch. Yo, you go fuck himself. <laughs> hey, him and Vance. No, not Vance. Uh, fucking uh, Nick Vanette. He go fuck himself too. Yep. If I ever see him, I'm throwing hands with him too. In person. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus. I wish the Bears would use A Rob in the slot more. I feel like he's just always he just is open way more when he's in the slot compared to when he's uh, lining up all wide. But it's probably just 
me being really high watching all these games. I don't know. Or I, I mean, I sounds pretty realistic. Like that's like Juju. Juju's a slot guy. You don't put Juju on the outside. Like no, yeah, but it, 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 Robinson. He's he's a bigger body receiver, but I, I feel like he's he's shifty. He's quick. He he gets off the line and yeah. I mean, he's a possession guy, too. So you put him in the slot, he can kind of just do, you know, sit, you know, in between the zone somewhere. Yeah, and find a soft spot in the zone and get yeah. after it. Just yeah. sit on the soft spot. Uh, how are you guys feeling about your running bags? Good. Well, <laughs> I one of the few things running. I feel good about. It's yeah. crazy that we, how we can run the ball. It makes they're, no they're, sense because we they're, can't they're really They're so block. solid. They're so good. It's, you got a one-two punch. Yeah. If we could figure out any sort of passing game, but this is the better thing, like, They'll run the ball. That you could you only get one. You could either run the shit out of the ball, you could throw the shit out of the ball, or you could just play really good defense. You can't have all at more than one at any time. Like no. so, the Bears this year they've really just been running the ball a lot. Like well, <laughs> the past couple of years it's like okay, you could run it decent, but re- play pretty good defense. Like you never have all three. It sucks. Yeah. It's the curse of being a Bears fan. And this year we have running the ball, so I guess we're gonna enjoy that. <laughs> it sucks. But and it doesn't even get better with the fucking Blackhawks either. Oh, Jesus it's just Christ. just one shit show after another. Well, tell us about – so you guys were at the game last night. We won't oh. spend a ton of time on, on hockey, but how was your uh, experience at the United Center? It was great. Like like Michael said, my brother had never even been to the UC, so us three went his first, you know, hockey game too. He, It was fucking electric in there. It was almost full. The uh, – what was it the when they sing at when they sing the national anthem? How everybody stands up, dude, bro. Yeah, I, Tampa and I looked at each other. We're like, like, is this a playoff game? Yeah, like, <laughs> it's, like I've been there before, and yo, it's always great, right? Great atmosphere. I love the intro. Like, I, I love going there. It literally felt like it was a playoff game. I was like, yo, it was so like, electric. This crowd is like here for the Blackhawks. Like, holy shit! Even though they stink on ice, except for yeah. last night, evidently. Yeah, well, fucking I was there. The flower breaking his uh, his seven yeah. seven goal average. Yeah, dude gives up seven goals a game and then fucking murders the Penguins. What's what's their record since Colleton got fired? Two and zero, undefeated. Two and zero. Hawks are back. Hawks are back. Dude, it was great. It was a uh, dude. It was a. Uh, I thought it was a really good game. So, how, how do you guys feel about like from a Pittsburgh perspective, Andre Fleury? You guys Love you him. like him or? Love him. He yeah. he didn't. He's incredible. Yeah, he didn't leave because because he wanted to. He was basically in a, out. In a perfect world, we would have sent fucking Matt Murray's dumbass to Vegas yeah, and we would have kept Mark Andre. Yeah. Mark but, the Flower. He's yeah. funny. He's yeah, he's like off the ice. Like he's a seems to be a great guy. Also like, overall. Also, having having Flower and team guarantees you're gonna go to the playoffs is there. Yeah, I mean, I think the Hawks are doing everything in their power to make sure that they break that streak this year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they started one nine and two. They're three nine and two right now. So that's all right. Got a whole season ahead of you. I mean, so was that three nine and two? Is that fifteen games? How many games is in the NHL season though? Like sixty something? Eighty two. Eighty two. Sixty. So something. I mean, Do you watch sports? Well, not I <laughs> No, he just wears orange hats and uh, <laughs> produces podcasts. So the- <laughs> there's a bunch of buck hunter. <laughs> They're already an eighth of the way down with the season though. I was thinking about that the other day when you Speaking look at it that way. That's fucking speaking of numbers. We're not gonna look, look at, at it that way, way. dude. So there's seven eighths of the season remaining. It's <laughs> a lot of fucking hockey. That's <laughs> a lot of eights, dude. Uh, also, fuck. football's halfway done too. That's disappointing. Yeah, I know. Kind of depressing. Fuck. At least we have the at least you guys have the pirates to look forward to, right? Yeah, 2023, yeah. baby. Oh yeah. my god. You Are you guys pirates know. fans too? Like everything Pittsburgh? Yeah. Oh, uh, Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Uh, we were Steagles fans at one point. Pittsburgh River Hounds. <laughs> yeah, the USL, baby. Yeah, I would USL imagine soccer. the Pirates minor league teams have to be, like, some of the best in, in the MLB. So, yeah. get this. Um, during the course of the last MLB season, um, the Pirates were fifth across all organizations in – combined team wins so that single a double a triple a and the pirates they had the best the fifth best record in that's baseball. insane oh, and, the, and the mlb and the team is really dragging games that back. yeah <laughs> Dude, the fucking brain the fucking won their division altoona curve the indy indians they're nasty 
It's like, like the I, same story with the Rays. I mean, the Rays are in a bit of a better situation, obviously, because – you know, it's because we gave them have all the Pirates yeah. X players. Awesome yeah. battle with Tyler Glass now. Uh, Carly Chris Morton. Ar- Chris Archer back. Yeah, fuck Chris Archer. But it's insane. Like, it kind of sucks how those, like, small market teams just can't. They just can't can't cut it in the MLB. I, Pirates have a payroll of $70 million and then the Dodgers fucking 270 It's like, it's not fun. How, it's, you can't. Wait, hold on. Yeah, can't I mean, re- recently, like, I was telling people how I fucking hate the Dodgers, and they're like, they don't get it. I'm like, what are you talking? I'm like, the Dodgers are the, are the Yankees. They're the modern day Yankees. They're the, the Yankees of the West. Like, they're yeah. the fucking the worst. I hate it. Dude, it's... But I do think, uh, I do think the Pirates will be competitive. Yeah. In, uh, not next year. Probably not until probably 2024. 2024. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude, Quinn Priester had a hell of a year. Dude, him and O'Neill Cruz, O'Neill Cruz, yeah. so sick, so sick. How do you guys feel? Oh. All the uh, like you were mentioning it earlier, but like now, Garrett Cole, Charlie Morton, Tyler. I was, Glass, I was literally all. just thinking about that. Like, imagine their rotation. I know. Like, well, we fun. we always talk about those guys always do better when they're not with the Pirates, right? Everybody and that leaves us. The reason better. being is because Garrett Cole even said, "I forgot who the pitching coach was at the Spin time." Right. No, he's and telling, he's telling are... Garrett Cole to pitch for, like, ground balls. It's like, why would you tell a guy who could strike out 12 in a game to fucking pitch for contact? It's like, why would you fucking do that? And the same thing with Charlie Morton. Same thing with Tyler Glass now. Like, those guys are strike out stuff, machines. Yeah. So it's no surprise that, yeah, you go somewhere where they can actually continue developing them and helping them help the team. It's like, yeah, it's night and day. Dude, even like James Tyone, like he's been crushing it with the. Oh yeah, that was the other guy that I was I couldn't remember. James yeah. Tyone, yeah. I, or I however you say his last name. I do try to forget about all of them because. <laughs> I like no, I like I like him so. Or even like Starlin Marte, he's a stud. Um, right, McCutcheon, obviously. Hey, yeah, we kept Gregory Polanco out of all those guys, and Polanco's fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got rid of the nightmare in a nightmare way. Well, the yeah, the nightmare, yeah. It was a literal nightmare. I, I, I thought Cabrian Hayes was going to have a nice season, but he was battling injuries too, right? Yeah. Whatever happened to uh, Pedro Alvarez? Oh, oh, El Toro? What do you mean? Is he playing still? <laughs> Is he alive? Dead or alive? Pedro he's Alvarez. Alive. So alive. Dude, he has a crazy team. So alive. <laughs> yeah. That is, he's, he's alive and well. Dude, that is the reason <laughs> I started supporting the Pirates. Yeah. Yeah. He is I got the, Tapia hooked so... on Alvarez and – Where's no he at? Back. No he's, he's not playing. He's he done. He's, he's got a family. He's got kids. He's living his life, bro. Yeah. Let's see. Let's <laughs> see if we can find Pedro Alvarez here real quick. Pedro. Yeah. He, his Instagram is like Al Matan or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You guys so, named Rob Martavis Bryant earlier. You got me wondering what he's doing these days. He was Probably trying to get. chiefing with Laguerre Blunt. He was trying to get reinstated. Yeah. Yeah. He's Josh like, Gordon he, can come back a million times. What the fuck? Say he's, he's basically Josh Gordon now. Our Davis Bryant. Oh. Oh, since we're naming all these random athletes, you want to get to the starting five here? Yeah, let's, let's do, it. do it. Sure. All right, so this starting five is just going to be – we're going to – a little crisscross action. Where we're going to – the Chicago guys are going to name our favorite Pittsburgh athletes, and the Pittsburgh <laughs> guys are going to name their uh, their favorite Chicago athletes. So we're going to – any sport, starting five, we'll, uh, we'll go McGrory, Alex, Max, and me. Let's see how quickly we get lost in this snake here. I'm going to get lost quick. So, McGrory, whenever you got it. So, I just don't get to go, dude. You skipped. You, I thought you weren't going. No, fuck it. Ty, you go. You're I'm after going. me. I'm going for starting. <laughs> no, no. So, no, I looks forward to this just, all week, and he doesn't even get to go. So, I don't get lost in the snake. All right, you go. Because there's a, there's a lot of options here. So, you, you so can Someone was so sad when he thought he didn't yeah. get to go. You, you can play. Up, dude. You can play. I kick us off. Grower. Um, so I'm saying top Chicago athlete. Yeah. Fair your favorite. Not your it's favorite? gonna you're gonna get five draft picks. It's basically a draft. Cool. Uh Jabari Parker. Wow. Wow. I wonder what the odds are of him getting drafted first were. First overall. Plus one million. <laughs> I mean, he was absolutely sick in high school. Jabari yes. Parker. In high school. <laughs> 
I want to say he won school. like two or a, two state championships. What a wild fucking pick! <laughs> it's kind of crazy. He's my favorite Chicago athlete. Okay, really? I'm, I'm not hating on it at all. Uh, I am. Well, I have to go MJ then because I I own <laughs> I, I gave him too much of my money back here. That would that probably would made more sense. Yeah, yeah. I own too much. Of it. I was like, Are you Parker? <laughs> Yeah, I you see that. all those shoes back there? Yeah, th- yeah, this is actually the hat I was wearing earlier today. I- I'm actually pumped for Psalm to tweet this out uh, with Jabari Parker, the first pick, and MJ the second. That's like uh, Charles Barkley picking Allen Iverson first overall <laughs> Yo, in that uh, also, all-star game draft. Yeah. <laughs> Wild fucking play. All right, is it me? Yeah. All right, I'm going Troy Palomalu. I had a Troy Palomalu jersey in like middle school and I fucking loved him. Guy's got sick hair. He's on Old Spice commercials. One of the best safeties of all time. Troy Palomalu. So sick. Love that. He's on, what's the, uh, is it still Old Spice or what's those commercials where, with Patrick Mahomes now that he's doing? Is it still Old Spice? It's, uh, I know he did the head and, head and shoulders. Maybe, yeah. oh no, it wasn't Old Spice. It was head and shoulders. Yeah. I'm going to say I didn't think it was Old Spice, but yeah. You got to love that guy. All right, I'm going to go Willie Stargell. Pops. And I'm, I don't know anything about, I mean, I know he's Pirates player in the 60s and 70s, hefty lefty. I'm strictly going off those uniforms. I could just picture him in those hats with the yellow stripes with on them. stripe around it. Still not yeah. stripe. Oh, man. You want to talk about dripping sex. Willie those, that, those hats look like they're made out of, like, cloth or something. Oh, God. 100% wool. <laughs> <laughs> Do not dry in the dryer. All right, Ty, you got two here. Don't get lost. I'm about to get lost. Sammy Sosa, easy fucking pick. So wait, this do you get to pick Chicago and Pittsburgh? Oh, that's a good question. I think you yeah, should. I mean, you should be able to double dip. <laughs> double this is your double day. dip episode. Double dipping all day. All right. Abner, um, double dip. <laughs> Sweet. Then I'm going to go with a Pittsburgh character here. And this is going to be off the top rope. Uh, the first Steeler I ever knew about, Lynn Swan. Wow. You cunt. That's a great pick. That is That's a great pick. pick. It's a great pick. So All it's right. like when you were growing up watching football, it's like you'd never heard of any of the Steelers players, but you just magically came across Lynn Swan. I read Lynn a Swan. book when I was real, <laughs> real young about like the best receivers. You can't read. Ball. No, I can't. And he Swan had the book. There. He just saw that his like, picture was in it. Picture. Picture book. I feel like there's so many good Pittsburgh Steelers options for this. I know. And Pirates. <laughs> you, there's and so many hockey. good Steelers and Pirates options, and I'm going Mario Lemieux. Yep. Penguins. I saw so many of his jerseys last Wait, time. is it your pick? Yeah, we snaked it back, right? I'm yeah, lost. Max gets lost in the snake almost. Just tell, just tell me when to go. You're up now. <laughs> All right. I'm going Alan Fanica. Damn, I like it. I mean, dude, you hear like growing up as a kid, like you, he's just one of the offensive linemen in the league that you know was fucking nails. He's so, incredible. He's like a household name, Alan Fanica. <laughs> he was yeah, Hall of Famer. Famous. I like that. All right, Alex, your turn. Right. I'm going to go, and you guys will never believe who I'm going to pick. Quote Temo Blanco, play for the Chicago Fire. <laughs> Wow. How do you spell that? Quick. Well, Blanco, you could just write white. Yeah, you just write Blanco. I thought that was just like Henry Blanco's actual name. Yeah, that's no, what I thought you were going Blanco, to. bro. Yeah. He's one of the best Mexican <laughs> soccer players and came to the fire for a few seasons and literally filled up the stadium by himself. Damn. I, I love the uniqueness of this draft. Also, you, you got to look up his highlights because this guy's like 33 doing bunny hops in between MLS players, and it's amazing. <laughs> Wild. All right, we'll be back to grow. Yeah, you got two. I got two. Yeah. Devin Hester. Oh. Okay, that's more oh. reasonable. I was, waiting. I was waiting for that one. And Derek Rose. Yeah, okay, there Fuck you. you. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Kendrick Nunn. <laughs> <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Kyle Warren. That's, a, that's, a, that's his value pick in the fifth round. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to Alex. Me? All right. Yeah. Got, you know, got to go to one of my faves, Juwan Howard. Go blue. 
Was he a Chicago guy? Did he play yeah. in Chicago? Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he went to Chicago high school, yeah. Yep. Where did he go to high school? Uh, he went to... We all pause for a second, like, who went to Chicago Vocational <laughs> High School? Yeah. Lane Tech, dude. Lane Tech. Hey, hey, my grandpa went there. <laughs> no, we ask Ty every time there's, like, a Chicago guy or somebody who went to Chicago High School where he went, and Ty always just says Lane Tech. You it's it's the the only high school did, we know. Where did uh, I.O. from the Bulls go? Morgan Park. <laughs> this is literally what Morgan we asked. This is, this is literally the wait, wait, uh, person asked we asked him last week. And so oh, really? said, yeah. yeah. He said his Lane, Tech. Lane Tech. Dude, not everybody. All right. Where did their girls go? Simeon. Simeon. Lane, uh, Lane Tech. <laughs> Lane Tech. <laughs> Could have sworn it was Lane Tech. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Max. Max is up. All right. I'm torn on this one, but. I'm surprised no one said it yet. I'm going Roberto Clemente. Oh, you motherfucker. I mean, that's just a slam dunk. Mm-hmm. That is a great one. The Didn't he end his career with exactly 3,000 hits? Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. And the plane was going 3,000 miles per hour, right? Pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> 3,000 miles per hour. The plane blew up on takeoff. <laughs> Jesus. So Maybe because he didn't even know the story. So it was rubbing 3,000... RPMs. Yeah. All right. Um, a little more oddball one. Uh, the reason I wore number twenty as a kid, and then just kept wearing number twenty because I like the number, Corey Patterson. <laughs> oh, what a terrible reason to wear number. 20. That's why you wore twenty. What an idiot. I, when I was eight years old and I started travel baseball, they're like, "What number do you want?" And I was like, at the time, I was like, "Corey pa- Corey Patterson's dope. Just give me 20. <laughs> And uh, then, yeah, just kept wearing it. That's crazy, dude. Goodness. Are you a Sox fan? Huge Sox fan. <laughs> um, right, my next up. one. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy snaking. there, cowboy. I'm snaking. Yeah, you get yeah, lost but... in the snake? No, snaking you skip me, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Didn't I just do Corey Patterson? Yeah, but you skip me. Oh, whatever, dude. Go ahead. I'm gonna go. He- I'm gonna go Heath Miller. Oh, nice! You Beautiful. can't. I mean, come on. <sighs> Love that guy. All right, go ahead. You said Corey Patterson. Now go ahead again. Uh, Doc Ellis. Doc Ellis. <laughs> you get the best of both worlds here. Fuck. I know. Dude, Doc Ellis. And you ruined it with saying Corey Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> you um, blew it. It didn't all blow up when Michael said Jabari Parker. You mean to tell me? He's more of a household we we should have just Patterson. stopped the draft right there. We should have should stopped the fight. From right off the top, yeah. Off the count. All right. I'm going to go Sidney Crosby. The I wizard mean, of Cross, dude. I mean, Vanilla. Ever heard of him? Three cups. Decent player. Damn, three, three cups, cups one team. How many golds? Two golds? Oh, the golden goal kills me still. Oh. I hate him for that. So I literally I, wore my Crosby jersey to school the next day, and everyone's like, "Are you fucking you, Canadian, you piece of shit?" You I was commie. Like, eh. You're communist. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> what 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 round are we in right now? Round four. I know you guys get so lost in the snake. It's really not that hard. <laughs> it's it's not hard at all. But I you always just do it. Snake around. It's like literally like a fantasy football draft, Maxwell. Am I up? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go – this is a little off the cuff. I'm going Larry Fitzgerald. Ooh. Not off the cusp at all. It's amazing. Wow. He <sighs> led the NCAA in yards and touchdowns and somehow didn't win the Heisman. Wow. 16, 1,672 yards and 22 touchdowns. Yeah, and the next closest pick guy, he's got 11. Like yeah. That record won't be broken. Ridiculous. said Dewan Blair. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's coming. He's an honorable mention. All right, Alex. All right. I'm going to go Mike Ditka, Pittsburgh guy, double dip. Oh, nice. I like that. There you go. Nice. I like that. That might be the best pick of the draft. Yeah, honestly. Better than anything McGrory's thrown out there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you McGrory goes with uh, Daryl Rivas next. <laughs> no, it's a Pittsburgh guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. I forgot. And he's a hell of an athlete. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to follow along with uh, an offensive lineman here. Say it. Olin Cruz. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yes. New best pick of the draft. The GOAT. Did he go to Pitt? No, he's doing Chicago. Oh, wait a minute. I was so confused. I thought he fucking... Jack right. just lost in the sauce now. Dude, I'm, I'm dizzy right now. <laughs> just all over the place. Fucking dizzy, dude. <laughs> dizzy bat. <laughs> dizzy bat. All right, McGraw, your last round pick. Last round pick. Do something crazy, dude. Do something crazy. Matt Forte. Oh. Love that. Dude's a workhorse. Quadzilla. I own workhorse stock. You still are holding them? Yeah. <laughs> sure am, bud. Oh, Jesus. All right, Alex, let her rip. All right. For my last one, I'm going to go with Jerry Manuel. Jerry Manuel, the, the Sox manager? Yep. <laughs> Any, any particular oh. reason? <laughs> yeah, because I love his son, Jerry Lorenzo, who I wear all his clothes, fear of God. There you go. <laughs> At least there's a reason for everything. That's At least perfect. you have a reason. Yeah, and also, Jerry Lorenzo is huge on doing stuff for the Homestead Grays. So it's kind of like Homestead Grays, Pittsburgh Pirates. You're double dipping again. Yeah, Jerry Manuel. You Chicago. Pittsburgh boys love a double dip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you know about that? Really, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <I'd> nothing. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? It no. is you. All right. Uh, we're, leaving a lot of, we're leaving a lot of guys out. But I'm going to go uh, Aramis Ramirez. Uh, double took, dipping. That's an Ooh. ultimate double dip right there. <laughs> It's a nice double dip. Oh, that man. was the first time of my life that I witnessed the Pirates clean house. Yeah, I couldn't I have felt right good. Well, you're eight, eight, just nine. Downhill from there. I almost said uh, Sean Davis just a double dip. We should have made the rule for Psalm was that it could only have been uh, double dip Chicago, <laughs> Pittsburgh. Yes. Or, uh, or was it Artie Burns? It no, Artie oh, Burns. Is that what I should have said. Artie Burns, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh shit! I was gonna go Sean Rodriguez, the uh, that third baseman who was fighting the oh, yeah. water cooler in the NL wild card game. Yep, I'm going Beat the shit out of that cooler. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's the he's the undefeated champion against water coolers. No, that's Carlos Sembrano. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the guy that played he... on the Chicago Dogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny that that's what you know him from. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna play somewhere throw... else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sprinkle a Sox guy in there just because I feel the need to. Uh, Joe Creedy, it was sick. Who'd you say? Joe, Joe Creedy. Creedy. A good one. Joe Creedy. Bobby Jenks. I thought you Ooh. said Jokic at first. I was like, Ty, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, you didn't say Ozzy. Uh, fucking Osborne. Dude, yeah. that whole, that yeah. whole Sox team was nasty. Scotty Pods. Yep. Yeah. Fucking all of them, dude. Tadhito Iguchi. <laughs> Kierzynski is just putting Michael Barrett on his dicker, dude. Easy with that. Easy with that. Easy I don't think you want to get into time. that right now, Ty. I don't think I do, dude. No, we don't. But boys, Kierzynski's a twat. The Yins boys, this was fun. We got to do this again. Maybe next. Uh, I don't know if the Hawks play the uh, Penguins again or whatnot, but. They don't. Luckily, last line was the last. Yeah, that is true. That was the last one. But we'll, we'll do this again. Maybe when uh, the Steelers go in the playoffs, we'll hop on your pod and we'll uh, we'll give we'll we'll try to hype up the Steelers as much as we can from a, a neutral perspective. <laughs> That's Instead of great. Alex saying, I I seriously think they're going to win a Super Bowl <laughs> every fucking year. <laughs> every I, I, fucking I, I, year. I can't that wait Ray Ray's going to run one back. I can't wait till I'm right. Everyone else is wrong. <laughs> I mean, you see, it, you sound very rational. Throw enough shit at the wall, so it's gonna stick. Tap you. <laughs> yeah, just nothing sticking to Ray Ray as he's fumbling the ball around. <laughs> but all right, boys, that was fun. Yeah, absolutely, it was great. And now, seriously, we'll have to do that again. Yeah, thanks for coming on, guys. It was awesome. No, well, thank you, guys. It was awesome. All right, we'll talk to you. Cool. All right, peace. Peace. peace.